Okay, and well, this is Dr. Janes, and today we're going to talk about installing VirtualBox under your Linux system so that you can run uh, another operating system like maybe Windows. You know, sometimes uh, I've, I've tried running uh, like Wine or other uh, Windows type emulators, and they, they work okay, but I've, we've They're had some, some issues They're about them. It's terrible. Like running a wizard game or something like that. The uh, wizard wild one, Irish wild one, try it. It, it has uh, some bugs in it. So uh, if you if you actually run straight Windows under a virtual machine, hopefully it'll operate better. And so we'll we'll try that. And uh, so here's a little uh, some information about the uh, virtual machine for Ubuntu. And we will go to uh, Ubuntu store and. Uh, Type in virtual box because it looks like it runs all the windows and uh, it's free to install. So let's click on that guy and we'll try installing it and see what happens. What about the one above it that's five stars? Uh, this one's only four and one half. Well, we'll, we'll try this one. This this one. Oh, this, wait, no, this, that one is them. five stars. No, both of them are four and one half. Okay, well, this one, the Ubuntu site says it will work, so I usually try to look it up first and uh, see what the recommendations are, and this one was highly now recommended. It's black stars? No, it's just the graphics are changing colors as, they, as it loads up. But does that mean it's even worse? Like, negative? No, it doesn't mean, doesn't mean anything. No, there's one below it too. That's also free. It's all five black stars. Oh, uh, that doesn't say it's uh, it's in a different language too. It looks like. Provista. Yeah. I kind of like my software to be in English. sola. Okay, so it looks like our uh, virtual box has uh, finally installed. So let's go take a look at it. There it is. Okay, the left part of the window is the virtual machine. You haven't created a virtual machine yet. In order to create a new virtual machine, press the new button in the menu located at the top of the window. Okay, so okay, so here's our Windows XP disk, and we will well, the folder it's in. Here's the disk. We can take our XP install disk out. And we will stick it into our drive and close her up. Okay. okay, so we've got our Windows disk in there, and we're going to start a new virtual machine. So we'll click on that guy. We'll call this uh, Windows XP. And if we could do 64 bit, uh, we'll just maybe XP is only 32 bit. Okay, we use the recommended uh, window or disk size, create a virtual hard drive now. And let's try this one virtual hard drive disk. Okay, dynamically allocate. Windows XP, create. And let's start it up. Okay. Uh, okay, I think that's the only option that we have. That's the uh, CD drive. Okay. 
this annoying thing. Okay, so the uh, the CD drive, uh, DVD drive is spinning up, and it looks like it's doing some kind of Windows setup. Setup is loading files, Windows execution, kernel, DLL, debugger, blah blah blah. So it looks like it's doing something. It's loading up all sorts of fun stuff right now. So we'll just sit and wait, and hopefully we'll have a running copy of Windows under Linux. That way we don't even have to do dual boot. We don't have to shut down the machine and boot it back up if we want to do some Windows stuff. We can just have the Windows running in a little window where it belongs. Okay. This portion of the setup program prepares Microsoft Windows to run on your computer. To set up XP now, press Enter. Okay. Okay, here's our uh, agreement. Page down. Page down, so Windows Bill Gates probably wants to look through all your personal data and harass you about it, so make you agree to that. Okay, continuing on. <coughs> we got down to the bottom of the virtual machine and it says uh, uh, F8, I agree. So I agree. So I bought it. I should have the right to install it, right? Um, following this list uh, shows the existing partitions. Okay. Press enter to install. I guess we will use NTFS file format. I mean, everything is happening under like a, a little uh, virtual place that's been pinned off from the rest of your computer. So if, if this thing gets viruses or tries to do malicious things, it doesn't have access to the rest of your machine. So. Whatever it's doing, it should be kind of contained in its own little cage. So you don't have to worry about Windows bringing viruses onto your computer and messing things up. Okay, so here we go. We're setting up. It's formatting. 10 megabytes. It's not a lot, is it? But it's probably big enough to do whatever I want to do with Windows. Almost there. Okay, 100% installed. Or 100% formatted. Examine your disk. Okay, I've set up uh, virtual machines before, so hopefully there'll be no problems. I haven't had problems in the past. <laughs> Actually, the last time I did it, I had to run a Windows machine, but I created a virtual machine so I could run Linux under it because you never want to be without Linux, right? Okay. <coughs> okay, so it looks like we're doing um, setup now. And uh, <coughs> it's doing a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at that. Windows XP is booting. Oh, man. This is so exciting. Okay. Looks like Windows XP is starting up. Ooh could take approximately 39 minutes. Okay, well, we won't make you sit through this, but um, looks like it's going to work, so we can run Windows inside of a window on a Linux machine exactly where it belongs. Okay, so anyway, we should be all set to go now.
Okay, I guess we have a little bit more of the setup to do. Uh, here's the uh, final installs. Let's just click through this. We'll call this RJ. RJ. Oh, okay. And uh, of course, the most important thing is our product code. We have to enter this number on the, the back of the, uh, the uh, Windows disk thing. And I believe caps are probably important. Let's put our caps locks on. EM6DTMV. Of course, I'm probably going to cut the end of this code off because I don't want to put my uh, product code out there. So that uh, it's misused. Okay, we'll click next. Well, <sighs> caps lock is on. We will give it an administrative password. And it's given us a great name of R63 something or other, something or other. Uh, let's put it on uh, East Coast time. Pacific, Arizona, Central, Cent 8765, Atlantic, Canada, Eastern time. Okay. Next, and it looks like it's going to do some some more installing. Okay. Oh, I'm getting excited. I think it's just about done. Okay, lots of ads. My goodness. Who would think that Microsoft would put gratuitous ads all over their installation of XP? Typical setup. Sure. Network is set up. Performing configurations. Okay, here we go. Looks like one minute remaining and Looks like it finished. Okay. Press any key. Is it booting? Oh, look at that. We're booting into XP. And virtual machine under Linux. Wait, isn't there a different thing where you can speak into the microphone and record your voice? Uh... Instead of using the camera? Okay, we'll adjust the screen resolution. Uh, okay, I think it's fine. Oh, look at that, even bigger screen. We've upgraded, and it didn't cost us anything. Okay, it's still so not Windows. It is Windows. It's Windows XP. Yeah, but it's not the full thing. Oh, it is. Oh, really? Then how come it just looks like a page? Well, that's the way I want it. It's a, it's a full Windows operating in this little window here. I want it to be the whole screen. Well, I think we can do that, too. How? But I don't want that right now, because i got a... I want full oh, screen. Oh, look at that. Full screen. Full screen, full screen. Welcome to Microsoft. 